Does anybody want to play Parcheesi? Okay, who brought the dog? <laughs> Oh, Dan, it's you. Oh, hi. Yes, Louis, it's I me. I thought it was a drugstore. Oh, are you sick? Oh, no, no, I'm fine. I feel great. Just ordered some more vitamins and stuff. I was just exercising. I taped 20-minute workout on my machine and played it back at high speed, so it only took 10 minutes. I got a great workout. Good. You want to come in for a mineral water or something? Oh, I'd really like to, um, Louis, but I have to go to rehearsal now. Excuse me. No sweat. I'll take a rain check on that. I always have plenty of low-sodium mineral water and other nutritious foods in the house, but you already know that. Yeah, I know that. Listen, that reminds me, I'm having a big party for all my clients. It's my fourth anniversary as an accountant, you know, and even though you do your own tax return, which you shouldn't do, I'd like you to stop by, being that you're my neighbor and all. Well, thank you, Louis. I'll really try to stop by. Listen, that reminds me, you shouldn't leave your TV on so loud when you go out to creep down the hall, phone the manager. Oh, that's strange. I didn't realize I left it on. Oh, yeah, you know what I did? I climbed on the ledge and tried to disconnect the cable, but I couldn't get in, so you know what I did? I turned up my TV real loud, too, so everyone would think that Bye, both Louis. our TVs had something wrong with them. Okay, so I'll see you later, huh? I'll give you a call. I'm gonna have a shower. Do you have any Excedrin or extra strength Tylenol? Gee, I think all I got is acetylsalicylic acid generic. See, I can get 600 tablets of that for the same price as 300 of a name brand. That makes good financial sense, good advice. Hey, this is real smoked salmon from Nova Scotia, Canada, $24.95 a pound. It only cost me $14.12 after tax, though. I'm giving this whole thing as a promotional expense. That's why I invited clients instead of friends. You having a good time, Mark? How you doing? Why don't you have some of the brie? It's at room temperature. You think it's too warm in here for the brie? Louis, I'm going home. Well, don't leave yet. And listen, maybe if we start dancing, other people will join in. Oh, don't move. I just got to get the door. Ted, Annette! Hey, Hello, glad you could come. How you doing? Give me your Hi. coats. Everybody, this is Ted and Annette Hi. Fleming. Hi, how are you? Ted has a small carpet cleaning business in receivership. Annette's drawing a salary from a deferred bonus from two years ago. They got 15000 left on the house at 8%. So they're OK. So, does anybody want to play Parcheesi? <laughs> Okay, who brought the dog? I'm gonna bring us up at the next tenants meeting. There's not supposed to be any pets in the building. Master of Gozer, Volga Sildro, our Lord of the Sabulia. Are you the gatekeeper? Hey, he pulls the wagon. I make the deals. You want to ride? Wait for the sign. 
and our prisoners will be released. You will perish in flames! You and our people will be taken What an asshole. Dropping off or picking up? Dropping off. Just a moment. You a Ghostbuster? Yes. We picked up this guy, and now we don't know what to do with him. Bellevue doesn't want him, and I'm afraid to put him in the lockup, and I know you guys are into this stuff, so I figured we'd check with you. All right. Are you the gatekeeper? You better bring him inside. You are so kind to take care of that man. You know, you are a real humanitarian. I don't think he's human. What did you say your name was? Vince Clortho, key master of Gozer. According to this, his name's Lewis Tully. Lives on Central Park West. Do you want some uh, coffee, Mr. Tully? Do I? Yes, have some. Yes, have some. Vince, you said before you were waiting for a sign. What sign are you waiting for? Gozer the Traveler. He will come in one of the pre-chosen forms. During the rectification of the Valdrani, the Traveler came as a large and moving torb. Then, during the third reconciliation of the last of the McKetrick supplicants, they chose a new form for him, that of a giant slore. Many shubs and zools knew what it was to be roasted in the depths of the slore that day, I can tell you. Egon. Excuse me. There's something very strange about that man. Listen, I'm usually very psychic, and I have a terrible feeling that something awful's gonna happen to you. I'm afraid you're gonna die. I'll get it. Hello? Egon, it's Peter. Thanks, I've got it. I am the key master. I am the gatekeeper. Tenant's gonna be pissed. Are you okay? Who are you guys? We're the Ghostbusters. Who does your taxes? You know, Mr. Tully, you are a most fortunate individual. I know. You have been a participant in the biggest interdimensional cross rip since the Tunguska blast of 1909. Felt great. We'd like to get a sample of your brain tissue. Okay. 